Well, good evening. We um, you know, we really, I thought our kids battled in the second half. I got impressed with Cincinnati. They did the things they had to do down the stretch. When we made a run to get the ball to their players, that, and they made some big time threes there when we were making making a run. Really appreciate the crowd. We did a they did a fantastic job of. I think we're helping our guys raise their level of intensity when we were down, I don't know, about 18 maybe in the first half or more, and then we or 19, but we really bounced back and I'm really proud of how we played, competed in the second half, even though I thought we ran out of gas there some. And um, But again, it was um, a good effort on our part. I thought we, we just need to get some uh, more production from, from some of the guys. Rainier, you know, he's, he's struggled. He's, he had a, uh, you know, a death in his family, and I knew he was not in, you know, he was trying to fight through it, but he's, uh, it's just one of those things that happens. But um, I thought, you know, Jeremiah once again played tough. You know, certainly we, we knew we were going up against an outstanding player in Gary Clark. and But I thought we did a good job defensively all the way around and, and kind of did a better job rebounding in the second half. Any questions? Great. Tommy, realizing that it's a very good defensive team you went up against, hosting with Mike Parks just wasn't there. Is that more on your guards? Is that on Parks, or is that just a credit to their team? Well, both. You know, I thought he had opportunities, and we didn't throw the ball to him, especially early in the game. And I know he's getting a little—he was a little frustrated because of it. But a lot of it's part of them too, because they—they they do a good job. They're big and strong enough that, you know, Mike has a problem with. Balance, you know, it's, you know, he just got to learn. He's still learning to hold his position, you know, sit down in the post and not lean back. And when he lean back, they're they're pretty crafty and pretty smart team. So when they feel that, they pull the chair out from under him. And you notice he was always kind of falling back, and that's that's one of his issues. And we've we've tried we've worked with him on it, but when you get you get against a veteran, smart team that. That kind of understands that hey, we got to use that uh, uh, that leverage against you, uh, but we we still didn't throw the ball in there. We caught it lots of times, but I think he realizes too that it's not as easy as it looks because when we threw him the ball a couple times and tried and we slipped screens, he didn't see people open either. So it's it's a two way street. Uh, but again, you know we got to have more production out of him. But he was battling. He battled those big boys inside. And I thought he did a good job against Kyle Washington. Two for nine, and he did it, you know, so he had his hands full trying to uh, contain, and I, did, I thought he did an adequate job. You know, with ten rebounds especially, you know, he really, you know, he did what, I mean, with eight rebounds, he did the things he was supposed to do. In the first game against Cincinnati, Cincinnati really extended their defense and tried to, to put pressure on the point guard and force you guys to shoot from the perimeter instead of packing the paint and not let you get inside. They started off doing that tonight. What did you do differently in, in this game? Kind of a little bit. Well, we ran some things, but they, they, you know, they do a good job of switching and denying, and then they really had to do a good job. You know, they realize that mismatches really don't beat you. You know, and that's um, so that's why they don't mind switching everything, and they have that, you know, a physical team that that they can really be aggressive. Uh, I thought we just were, uh, even early on, we were. A little more patient, even though we couldn't make a shot, and we turned it over like three or four of the first few possessions. I thought, um, but once we settled down and were able to get into our office, we were much more. Um, but I don't know what we did. That's what we did differently. We ran some stuff that we had. Um, they really didn't run against them before, but they're again a veteran team, a smart team is going to make the adjustments, and they did. Uh, their pressure. Obviously, that hurt us early on, and when you when you when you're always in the retreat mode and not, uh, you know, turning when you turn it over like we did, live ball turnovers it, it makes it makes it tough on you. It takes a lot of lot out of you when that happens. Five thirteen left in the first half. Took Jeremiah Martin out with two fouls. Yeah. And put Frankford and then you cut into the lead. Did you expect to cut into the lead like that, or? What you think of that? Yeah, I, I thought he did a very good job. You know, Kareem is very um, capable of that. You know, he really doesn't practice at the point a lot in, in practice. But um, but he, he stepped up and did some good things. Um, 
And I think that helped Jeremiah in the second half. We, he had his legs and he was able to penetrate and get to the basket and draw some fouls. Um, so, yeah, I thought, you know, Kareem did a, a, a good job in that regard, running our offense. Mark, tell me, how important do you think it is going forward that in that second half you went toe-to-toe with the team that's the best team in the league right now? Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's very important. I thought well, that was the attitude I took it at the end of the game. Look, fellas, if we made free throws and you know cut back on those 12 turnovers, we forced 15 on them against one of the best defensive teams in the country I and mean, the best team in the league right now. You know, we're we're capable. We just need to get more production and and be more of a team. And you know, when you look down, you see only four assists. You know, we're not sharing the ball like we should. We're not. We're not finding guys open at the basket. Now again, they did. A, they hit some threes down. The, you know, right during that stretch when they went on an 18-0 run. That you know, when you throw it to a guy, he makes a three. That's an assist. And we just. We just haven't been able to make that. And when you make 17% of your shots, and they probably were coming off of passes to you. Um, that's and that's something we worked on in practice. We were we had a drill that first time we made some you know a lot some threes in this in a two minute segment yesterday, and I was really fired up about our shooting. Uh, but you know we just didn't. Um, again, I'm I'm looking at some of our guys. We're not really catching it, ready to shoot, and uh, being much of a threat. Um, but again, a lot of it has to do with Cincinnati and how how hard they play. Yeah. To the second half. Is that was that more just because of what Rainier was going through? Do you see that as being something? Could be. I mean, I'll watch the film and see, you know, because he, um, I thought, you know, Kareem had been starting for us. We don't. When you do that, we don't have a lot of size. But then again, Rainier wasn't, you know, wasn't rebounding. We weren't getting the rebounds even when we were bigger, you know. So it probably is something we we'll look at. And, and making that change, you know, because it was productive for us during that stretch. Coach, uh, how was Demario uh, after the game? And so I think he went down hard. Yeah. Foul. You know, I, I saw him walking out. He seemed, I'll talk to um, to Brad Anderson, our trainer, and find out more. But he seemed to be okay. Um, I know he hit his head pretty hard. He always is hitting the ground. And young man's on the floor more than the guys that sweep the floor. So he's, uh, you know, he is, he hits the floor a lot. And, uh, but he has a tremendous heart and toughness about him. And, uh, and he gave us a big lift too during that stretch. You know, he hit the three there. He was doing some good things. He ended up with, what he ended up with? Four rebounds in 19 minutes. Uh, I that was three rebounds this evening. So he did some good stuff for us. And he's, and he's, he's a, I mean, he, he, He's aggressive, you know. That's something that we we were lacking there. I was telling Mike, you know, one of the things that right there at the end, Kyle Washington went by him and made a reverse layup. You know, and it, it's no way he should be able to do that. Uh, so, th- those are things that that we have to be. Able to. But again, Mike was, you know, 37 minutes, probably the most minutes he's played in a game this year. Anything else? Thank you.